Hey guys, my name is Will and this is my dog Rambo. Today we're going to be giving you a van tour. I've watched a ton of these videos and finally I get to create my own for you guys. We've been full time in this van as of November 1st and we absolutely love it. So with that said, let's go into our home so this way we can show you what it's all about. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are these curtains. These curtains open up whenever it's dark outside you can't really see inside which makes it absolutely fantastic. There's Velcro strips on it. You just peel it and then there's a little rod where it goes all the way to the left or to the right. And then it gets secured with another Velcro strip here. And then it gets tied down to this. All tied away nice and neat. And now with that out of the way, I can show you guys the interior a bit better. So in case you're wondering why I purchased this particular van, it's because I wanted to get the Cascade Camper build. What you're looking at here is the Cascade Camper build out. And the Promaster City van, when I purchased it, it was about $32,000 brand new. I paid $2,500 over sticker because as you may know, everything is in short supply at the moment. And then I drove up to Nevada City where the Cascade Camper build was made. When I bought this van, I wanted it to be very stealthy. As you can see from the exterior, nothing gives it away that this is a camper van. The solar panels are not protruding out. The air vents are pretty small up there. I've added 20% tent. In the rear, I'm allowed to do whatever I want, so I added 5% tent. You really can't see anything from the outside. Once we go inside, visibility is pretty good. It looks very dark from the outside, but from the inside, it's pretty clear. And no one can really see that you're in here. And the same thing with the side windows. Now, although this van is on the lesser expensive side, I'm not 100% sure if there's any insulation behind these wood pieces here on this side, that side, and also these two sides here. But for sure, I know that the ceiling is insulated. Last night it was raining pretty hard. If these weren't insulated, I wouldn't be able to get any sleep. So far, we've been in here for two months. I've experienced what it's like to sleep in here when it's very hot outside. And now that it's winter time here in San Diego, it gets to about 40 to 45 degrees at the lowest. And since I have the diesel heater, I turn that on when it gets cold, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Me and Rambo are pretty warm in here. So the insulation for the ceiling definitely works. But I'm not 100% sure about the sides, like I said. As far as sleeping in here and hanging out here during the day and at night, we have absolute privacy. No one knows that we're in here. When the curtain in the front is closed, from the outside looking in, it looks pitch black. And when you're from the outside looking in here, there's 5% tinted windows, so everything looks absolutely dark. But when the front is open, it does give away a little bit of light, but it's still very dark and you really can't tell. But regardless, if we want absolute total privacy, these curtains open up all the way. And it's very simple. There's little magnets inside the curtains, and it just clips directly onto the metal parts here. And the same thing on the other side, just like that. Good Rambo? Rambo likes it in here. As far as storage, there's plenty of it in this van. Uh, I don't feel that it's lacking in storage space at all. The build itself is a very intelligently put together build. They made it so well where it's very spacious looking on the inside, but there's also plenty of storage. And that was one of the main reasons why I bought it because I'm living with Rambo and it's a very small space. But at the same time, I don't want to have to compromise and live with two t-shirts and a single pair of jeans. Underneath this couch slash bed, there are five crates. Aside from that, there's a food pantry section, space behind the fridge, as well as space behind the couch slash bed. In this drawer, I'm able to store about 10 pair of pants along with three or four different pair of shorts. I like to keep everything neat and organized. As you can see, everything is rolled up so this way it can save a lot of space. There's little fasteners here that close and this way when I'm driving it doesn't open. Makes it super convenient. In this drawer, I have my t-shirts as well as a couple of sweaters. I really don't have too many sweaters. Uh, I need to actually buy more because I'm planning on going to some colder climates pretty soon. But I have all of my t-shirts in here rolled up. In this drawer, this is where I keep my underwear. Uh, I got my boxer shorts here. I got my socks. And then I have some long sleeve shirts that I keep in here as well because I don't have room in the other drawers. But uh, the reason why this looks so empty is because they're all in the laundry, which I will show you guys in just a little bit. And now, the final two drawers. 
This is where I have my cookware. This is my colander. I have some collapsible Tupperware here. This is my egg boiler, some isobutane for my jet boil, and some additional propane for my grill, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then you have the skillet, which is the main thing that I use to cook. Believe it or not, everything that's in this drawer is all I need to cook. And I cook a lot. And then finally, I'm a content creator, as you guys know. I have a separate channel where I do motorcycle content. And then I have this van life channel and all of my electronics and gadgets that I use to record are all in here. But I have all sorts of stuff for recording purposes. Suction cups for the exterior of the car or inside of the car on the windshield. And then this is a lavalier mic. And then I have my GoPro 360 camera and a whole bunch of different mounts that I use to record my material lives in this drawer right here. Plenty of room inside the drawers and it's just enough for me to put my clothes as well as my cooking gear and my camera gear inside. I'm really happy that this is here. If these drawers weren't here, I wouldn't be able to live inside this van. All right, so now that you've seen what the crates look like, how I store my clothing, camera gear, as well as cooking stuff, now let's take a look at the food pantry because every kitchen needs a food pantry. And I have one here too. It's just a lot smaller. My food pantry, as small as it looks, it holds a lot of stuff. Like in here, this is where I keep my nuts and seeds. I eat a lot of that stuff when I wake up in the morning. First thing I eat is that. But if you take a look at inside, got a lot of good stuff in here. This is where I store my pasta. Basically it consists of spices, maybe some peanut butter here. Everything inside here pretty much changes on a weekly basis. Some things I take out, some things I finish and consume, and then I add things later on during the week. Even when I had an apartment, my food pantry section wasn't that big to begin with, so this is a perfect amount of space for what I need. Down here is where I keep Rambo's food. This is his box of food. This is his measuring cup where I measure exactly how much food to give him. And then this is the pot where I used to make pasta and I cook vegetables and everything else inside of. And then uh, this is where his dog bowl is. It's collapsible and it saves us a lot of space that way. And finally, right down here, this is where I store my Hot Logic little oven that I use to warm up my food. Right next to it, I have my cup. This is what I use whenever I'm making coffee or tea. Something that gets used quite often, especially now that it's winter, is my jet boil. The other day I made soup in it and this thing is such a blast to use. It boils water in about 90 seconds flat and I'm really happy about that. And last but not least, the place where I store all my wires. This is for all my accessories that I use to charge my stuff, like for instance, my laptop charger, my iPhone charger, ethernet router, etc. It all lives inside here. And then the rest of it is just plugs, batteries for my GoPro, and additional things. I like, to, I like to consider this section my chunk drawer, which is right underneath the 400 watt inverter. But wait, there's more. Behind the fridge, right over there, there's more space where I get to store other things. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, the fridge is right here, but right behind here, there's a lot of space for a lot of other things. In this section, I like to keep things that I use on a regular basis. This is the Dawn Power Wash. I use this on a daily basis when I'm washing dishes. This is my little electric vacuum cleaner. It's, it's wireless. It works amazing. This is my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I'm going to let you guess what this is for, and I'll leave it at that. This is what I use to drink water every single morning when I wake up and during the day when I need to refuel. And then throughout the entire week and sometimes every single day, I use this to clean surfaces, and if you're doing van life and you're full-time, this is a must-have, along with this vacuum cleaner. And everything fits pretty tightly back here, as you can see, lots of room. Here's some additional storage. This area here gets used all the time. I have plates here that I bought off of Amazon. These are stainless steel plates. Inside here, this is a combination of a fork, a spoon, as well as a knife. Pretty handy. Saves a lot of space this way. And then I have a small spatula here, as well as a single knife whenever I'm eating. Moving over to the right side, I read quite often, so this is where I keep my Kindle. And I keep a couple of fragrances here just so I can smell fresh and not like a dirty hobo. <laughs> so as you can imagine, whenever you're starting van life for the first time, you're going to live in a small little space like this. And you're used to coming from an apartment or a home that had a lot of space in it. So then you have to worry about stuff like sheets, a comforter, 
as well as maybe a jacket or something like that. But where do you store these things? Luckily, there's some really smart YouTubers out there that I learned some really great tricks from. So I have two pillows over here. This is one and this is two. And I bought these off of Amazon. I believe these are 16 inches by 16 inches. And inside of this pillow, I have my bed sheets. Uh, this bed sheet, I believe is a twin size. And then this is my comforter. Believe it or not, both of the items fit directly inside of this. And it's super convenient. Not only do I get to store them in here, but I get to use this throughout the entire day to kind of like chill and relax next to. Inside of this pillow, I keep my down jacket. And I got this jacket from Amazon. I believe I paid like 40 bucks for it. It's really not meant for San Diego, but I do plan to travel and that's why I got it. So until I need it, it's gonna live inside this pillow. All right, let's swing on the other side. This is where I like to keep everything that I don't use that often. I keep my Tupperware here. This is my drone, which I just recently bought, but I haven't used yet. So it's gonna get plenty of use in this channel. Stay tuned for that. This is my diesel heater fuel tank to that diesel tank right there, which I'll show you guys in just a little bit. And then back there, I also have some containers for Rambo's food. And if we open this door and look from the other side, this is actually a table, a collapsible table that opens up, and this is what I used to cook my food in. This is one of the best items that I bought for this van to date. And as you can see, everything fits nice and tidy. And this is what it looks like from the back. Everything fits nice and snug. Some additional usable space that I have inside the van are these doors. An obvious place for umbrellas. And then I have some electrical tape just in case it's needed. I keep a little cloth here just in case I need it as well. And then I have an extra pair of sneakers, some paper towels, and this is where I store my laundry. Thankfully, my laundry doesn't smell at all, and I'm shocked about that. There's also a nice compartment here. I usually store my sunglasses and face masks, and whenever I'm driving, I put my credit cards and everything here, my wallet. On the other side, I keep a Trader Joe's bag here every single time I need to go shopping. I'm not sure how it is in your state, but in California, they require you to bring your own bags. If you don't bring your own bags, then they charge you 10 cents per bag, I believe. If you guys watch my other episode, you know that I got sick. I keep my over-the-counter medication here. It's a nice, cool place for it. Last but not least, behind the passenger seat, this is where I keep my toiletry bag. On a day-to-day -day basis, when I wake up, I go to the gym. I take this entire bag with me, put it inside of my backpack. And I don't know how many times I said this is a small space, but regardless if you have small space or not, this little microfiber towel is the bomb. It's a small little thing. It dries up super quickly and I absolutely love it. I have a couple of these and I rotate them out every single week and I wash all of them once a week. Other than that, I have a full-size memory foam pillow that I use. I decided I wasn't going to use like a camping pillow or anything like that. This is some extra food for Rambo under here, which goes inside of the seat. As you can see, there's a lot of space in this van. And then I have an additional uh, toiletry bag with some additional things such as chargers and whatnot, which I keep inside there. And of course, no home is complete without the first aid kit. In this section, I have the fire extinguisher, I have the first aid kit, and in case there's a tire puncture or I need air, this is a 12 volt tire inflator, and I use this whenever I need it. And last but not least, I usually keep Rambo's leash over here. And whenever I'm sleeping at night, I usually keep my book bag here. Perfect amount of space for everything that we need. All right, so that pretty much sums up all my storage. But now I wanna show you guys the electrical components of this van and what makes it a livable space for me and Rambo. The first thing I wanna start out with is the most important thing, and that is my diesel heater. My diesel heater is what keeps me and Rambo warm at night. It gets a little bit chilly here and we get pretty cold. And as a result of that, I fitted a diesel heater into this van. If you wanna know more about my diesel setup, there's a separate video to that, which I'll put down in the description below, or you can just do a search on the channel. One of the most important things for this van is solar, so this way we can live completely off-grid. It's equipped with a 110 watt Sun Power Yachts flexible solar panel. It's pretty low. You can't really see it if you're looking at it unless you're like six foot five tall. You're not going to be able to notice that there's a solar panel up there. So it's perfect for being stealth. Aside from that, there's two pop-up vents and the two pop-up vents look like little mushrooms. And I usually keep one open and the other one closed. But if it's raining and I have both windows closed, then I usually keep both open and just run one of them so this way it exhausts 
air out and brings in air from the other one and it works quite well for us. The solar panel works because there's a solar panel charge controller equipped in this fan by a company called ePever and there's a little display that is somewhat accurate to a degree and I use it on a daily basis to figure out how much solar is coming in and what the battery capacity is at the current moment. The house battery is a 75 amp hour AGM battery. The main way that I charge almost everything inside here is either through USB-C, the regular USB port, or a 12 volt adapter. I also have a drone and the drone batteries are able to be charged with a 12 volt adapter that I bought as well. The van also comes with a 400 watt inverter but unfortunately the inverter doesn't work as well as I like. I have to keep the car on or else it starts beeping. Maybe because the 75 amp hour AGM battery is pretty small. I'm really not sure to be honest with you but I don't use it that often except to boil my eggs. As far as house lights are concerned, these are red lights. At first when I used it, I really didn't like it much, but the more I started using it, the more I've gotten used to it, and now I use it every single night. I usually keep this light on along with my puck lights, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but the van came equipped with these two lights that are here, they're both red, and then they also came equipped with two lights, one for the kitchen and one for the living space. It's so weird for me to say living space and kitchen, but in a small little space like this, they really thought this through and they made sure that for the living space, they gave you a reading light and for the kitchen, they gave you a really, really bright light, which I don't really use that much. I use more of my puck lights along with the red lights than anything else. But there are a lot of times where I am cooking and I'm preparing food and I do turn on the kitchen light. Because I'm a traveling nomad and because I usually work off of the internet, I, I don't really want to spend too much time cooking throughout the entire day. So I take one day out of the week to meal prep. And once I meal prep, I put all the food inside my fridge and I use my hot logic to warm it up. As for the refrigerator, this is a Dometic CF25. It has plenty of space for me to put all my food in here. It works either as a refrigerator or as a freezer, but not both. I also purchased an insulated cover for it. It makes using it a lot more efficient because it doesn't use that much power. The Hot Logic little portable oven that I have is a 12 volt adapter oven that goes directly into the 12 volt port. And it takes anywhere between one and two hours depending on the kind of food that you have to warm everything up. I use it three times a day and it works absolutely wonderful. I can't imagine living without that thing because if I didn't have that thing, then I would have to use the propane stove every single time. Speaking of propane stove, the propane stove lives right in this section right over here. And I also keep an additional propane, which I wrap up because I don't want it to make too much sound. I use the stove windscreen to guard against wind. And then I could put the stove right up here and cook right up here if I want to. Or I have a table, which I showed you guys before. And I usually open that up. I open up the back doors. It's really nice out, the weather is just right, and it makes more sense to cook out there than inside here and make everything smelly. All right, so now let me show you guys where my water storage is. This is a five gallon tank. The tank is really easy to remove. There's a little clip here. And then there's also a little clip that clamps on to the hose. And then this is used for the water pump that is inside here. And it comes right out, just like that. When you plug everything back in and you want to use the sink, there's a little plug that goes in here and I think this is good for like in case little creepy crawlies come from under there. Unfortunately, I don't have a gray water tank. So everything comes out of the end over there. It gives you little water when you give it little pressure, but if you give it a whole lot of pressure, you get a whole lot of water. So I think now I need to show you guys a couple of my little gadgets or accessories that make living on the road a lot easier. Now all the items that you've seen in this video from the beginning to the end I purchased off of Amazon and I'll be including links for everything. So as I mentioned before there are two lights one that's here and another one that's there but I don't really use that whenever I'm watching TV or just hanging out inside here. For that I purchased some puck lights and it comes in a multitude of different colors and this is my go-to device at night. I love this thing, it's rechargeable. There's one over there, there's another one over there, and then there's another one right over here. They're not super bright, but they're just great enough for it to have that little lounge feeling when you're inside. It's very comforting, it's very relaxing, and it just sets the mood. Other than that, I have a small fan, which I really don't use that often, but it also doubles up as a USB charger. So it has a remote control and three different settings and this thing is super convenient. Whenever I use my diesel heater and it gets really hot in here, I use this fan. 
and it recirculates the air inside the van and it works really, really well. Other than that, this temperature sensor gets a lot of use throughout the entire day. It's Wi-Fi enabled, it has an app, but unfortunately the app doesn't work with my system. But it tells me the humidity on the bottom and the temperature on the top. And it's fairly accurate, I think. And it also looks pretty cool, as you can see. The other thing I have, which I bought off of Amazon, is an absolute necessity. No home is complete without paper towels, and you have to have a paper towel holder. So this one is super convenient, attaches to the ceiling, and it gets used multiple times per day. I could not live without this thing. Absolutely necessary. I also have a mirror here. This is a LED-enabled mirror. So it turns on, as you can see. It works pretty well. Unfortunately, I really don't use the LED that much. But when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to look like a slob, so I use this to comb my hair and whatnot before I leave the van. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know that I sleep inside of it, even though I, at this point I really don't care. But this does get a lot of use throughout the entire day. And let's not forget, this is what I use to wash my hands with. And the other thing that I showed you over there is what I use to clean surfaces as well as wash dishes with. Moving over to the right side. This is my internet hotspot in AT&T Nighthawk 5G device and I have the 100 gigabyte AT&T plan which gives me 100 gigabytes of 5G data. Currently this has three of my Wi-Fi devices hooked up to it. It's got my laptop, it's got the Wi-Fi camera which I'll show you guys in a little bit and it also has my MacBook Pro hooked up to it. This is something that I also can't live without and it's an absolute must-have. And because I have a diesel heater in here as well as some cooking appliances such as my jet boil that I use on a regular basis. This is where the, this comes in handy, the carbon monoxide detector. And then right up here is where my diesel heater controller panel is. Right now it's off because I have a kill switch on my diesel heater, but whenever I turn it on, this turns on as well and then I get to use it. If I leave it on all the time, not only is it really bright, it'll keep me awake, but I'm a little worried about the diesel heater always having power. So I, I use the kill switch to always keep it off. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this neat little Wi-Fi camera. Now, the reason why I have this Wi-Fi camera is because of Rambo. I leave him inside the van whenever I'm not around. I see everything that he's doing, and I want to make sure that he's okay. So this is why I bought this. This is also from Amazon. It's a cheap little device that hooks up to your Wi-Fi router, and it works absolutely amazing with an app that comes with it. Every van life person, regardless if you have a dog or not, should have one of these. So now you might be thinking to yourself, all right, you spend a lot of time in here. You cook, you clean. Where do you throw your trash away? Ah, let me show you. So right inside this door panel is where my trash container is. It's a tiny little trash container. Very, very small in size. I usually throw paper towels in here, and if I have anything bigger, there's always a garbage can nearby, and I throw it out. But this is where I throw all my trash away. Super convenient, never smells because I usually throw it out two, three times a day. And the bags that you see here, they're Rambo's poop bags and it fits almost perfectly. So for you guys that have small spaces, highly recommend this little trash bin. Rambo looks so comfortable right now sleeping on his pad. This is what he uses every single night. But during the day, when I notice that when he's getting a little bit tired, I put his pad on top of the couch and he sleeps pretty comfortably in here. Right, Rambo? <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Me and Rambo chill here all day long. It's super comfortable, but we gotta sleep at night, right? So, let me show you how to do that. There's a little puller here, and there's also a little latch. You pull the latch, and you pull on the puller. Once you pull, the bed opens up and sits on this post, on these two posts right over here. Rambo realizes that this is what we usually do, so he's bracing himself for the movement. <laughs> and there we go. Turns into a full bed. So at night, what I usually do is I open this up. These, this has my bed sheets in it, as well as my comforter. And it's a very thin comforter. It's perfect for San Diego. And then I usually store this in between the door and the bed. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tour of our home. We absolutely love it here. We're super comfortable. The reason why we bought this van is to do some adventuring. And me and Rambo, we're gonna be doing tons of adventuring. We lived here for four and a half years and I wanna to travel to some colder climates, see some snow. So if you enjoyed watching this episode, please do me a favor and give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on board. There's gonna be plenty more episodes like this and we hope to see you soon. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.